Today we're going to look at this question. Label each of the following sets of quantum numbers as a valid or invalid address for an electron in an atom. For each answer, A through C, explain why it is either valid or invalid. So we need to do a little background on this. So we're looking at the quantum numbers. You have your primary quantum number, you have your angular momentum quantum number, you have your magnetic quantum number, you have your magnetic spin quantum number. Okay, so your primary quantum number is your shell. Your angular momentum quantum number is your subshell. I always start with the shell, so let's look at the first one. Four, so four, that would be a four shell, that works. Let's look at the angular momentum, which is also the subshell, which is also four. Okay, so I'm already seeing a problem here. So if we have a four shell, our angular momentum quantum number can only be 0, 1, 2, or 3. It's always one less than the shell. So this is invalid. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So let's start with the shell, which is 2. That works. Then the subshell, or the angular momentum quantum number, which is 1. That also works. And then we're going to look at the magnetic quantum number, which is negative 1. And that actually works because under the subshell 1, we can have negative 1, 0, or plus 1 for the magnetic, for the magnetic quantum number. So this also works. Another thing we need to take a look at is this is a P subshell. And in a P subshell, you have three orbitals. And these orbitals are labeled negative 1, 0, and plus 1. And they fill from left to right one electron at a time. And they start in one direction. So if we're going to start from left to right, if we want to fill these three orbitals, we start like this. So you have electron pointing up, another one up, another one up. And then we start over. This one's pointing down, down, and down. So, when an electron is pointing up, this is a plus one-half spin. When the electron is pointing down, this is a negative one-half spin. So, we have a negative magnetic, we have a negative one in the magnetic quantum number, which is okay, and we have a plus one-half. To get a plus one-half, it will look like this. So we have the negative 1 here for the orbital, and we have in one half electron pointing upward. So this is valid. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, so our shell is 2, subshell is 0, that actually works. Under 2, you can have a 0 or 1. And then under 0, all you can have is another 0. So we have a negative 2. So you can't have a negative 2. You can only have a 0 under a 0 subshell. And a 0 subshell is actually an S subshell. Okay? So this one is invalid. And that's it. That's how you do this question. Um, if you have any other questions, email me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.